Stuart Tustin. I work for Plant and Food Research in New Zealand and uh, we're sitting in one of our newly developed planar cordon two-dimensional intensive planting systems designed to intercept sunlight and utilize sunlight so we can drive our yield potentials and our quality potentials to close to the upper limits biologically. Okay, so tell us about these trees. So these trees are planted in very close row spacings but with, um, with a very na tall, narrow, slim, porous canopy. And by porous, what I mean is that the, the leaves are oriented and, and arranged in such a way that we get very good light distribution from the bottom to the top of the tree. So we can look down into the lower part of the tree, only half a meter above the ground, and we can see bright sunlight. If I put my hand, my hand is only about 50 centimeters above the ground and just at this moment it is in full sunlight and as I move it through the tree I'm still getting lots of radiation and that tells me that we're getting abundant sunlight reaching these lower leaves. This is a secret or one of the secrets or one of the principles behind what this canopy is designed to do to give us very high uh, utilization and, and uh, productivity from, from the radiation utilization. Now you have several rows, some getting tighter and tighter and tighter. What, what have you, I guess, what in this trial have you found to be optimal so far? So far we're testing two between row spacings, two meters and 1.5 meters. We, we're doing this because we wish to understand what the limit in terms of closeness of row is uh, with respect to the fruit quality and the light distribution and, and capture Theoretically, the rows more close together are going to give us um, a higher sunlight utilization, but we may get into problems of shading with the rows becoming too close. Uh, it is too early to say which is, um, which is better at the moment. There are lots of practical issues to do with, to do with having rows only 1.5 meters apart. So we're looking at different configurations of alternating row spacing using the two meter wide row as the access alley. Um, multiple row spraying, um, etc. Uh, also amenability for bringing in robotics later down the track once they become developed. We'd like to think that they would be developed to work in a confined space, not an extensive space. They're gonna, that would be necessary for these types of systems. But we are talking about doubling the productivity of Apple Watches. So we're standing in a gala block. We're looking to try to uh, we've already had um, three quarters of the crop has been harvested out of here, so this is just the residual fruit remaining. These trees are only four, in their fourth leaf, and they are on target to produce around about between 80 and 90 tons per hectare. So that's about 75 to 85 bins per acre.